Two drownings rocked the area of Oneida Lake in early July, and in both of those cases, search efforts recurred by police and fire officials. Now the Sylvan Beach Fire Department is equipped with new tools to help those rescues, as our Ben Dennis shows us. This patrol boat in Sylvan Beach is getting an upgrade. Fire officials here mounted new tech to help find swimmers and locate boats on Oneida Lake. A lot of times boats go out there, they lose power, they'll call us, they have no power, the boat went down. So you don't see any of the running lights on board of the, the vessel you're searching for, so that's where that would come in handy. There's a transducer on the back and it uh, scans the bottom of the water. Um, it shows, you know, very vivid pictures of what's on the bottom, the contour of the bottom, you know, water temp, the depth. So that's going to be a, a real good tool for us. Wish we would have had it two weeks ago. Two adult swimmers drowned July 4th weekend on the lake. Beach, county, and state agencies all responded. You have the sheriff's department and the state police. A lot of times, you know, there's a time span for them to, to respond. So, I mean, the faster we can get this out there and operating, you know, it kind of knocks the time frame down a lot. It's going to cut our time in half. Now, the guy that actually built the apparatus to hold the technology, he's a familiar face to the department. That's because he built the rescue sled for their snowmobile. If all those sleds I built save just one person, I mean, what, what, how do you even put a price tag on that? I had to come down. We had to go off measurements. I actually built a fake mocked up roof of the boat in my shop to build this unit to it. Fire officials said the new tech could be used for winter rescues when the lake freezes over, although they would have to modify the rescue sled. In Sylvan Beach, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News, First at 10.